Fire in the Sky, Friday, July 11th. Listen to the distinct sound of this pollution solution. It's a car that runs on compressed air, called a CAT for compressed air technology. It's the result of 14 years of research and development by French engine designer Guy Negre. With the CAT, Negre has created a car that produces zero emissions. The premise of this project was that in order to run a car, particularly in town, you need very little energy. And with compressed air, you can accumulate enough energy to do that. Compressed air has long been used as a power source for various tools and equipment. For car designers, compressed air has been difficult to harness. But now, Negra and his team at Motor Development International have built an engine that they believe will blow the car market away. Within an internal combustion engine, gasoline and oxygen ignite. The resulting explosions create pressure, which pushes the pistons that turn the crankshaft. With MDI's engine, precisely timed bursts of compressed air create the pressure needed to drive the pistons, pollutant-free. Supplying enough energy to power the car requires pressure at 4,300 pounds per square inch. That's more than 100 times the pressure in a standard car tire. Forced inside a tank small enough to fit under the cat's chassis, it's the formula for a potential ticking time bomb. So the pressure was on the designers to build a tank that won't explode. This is uh, to give you an idea of the technology inside of the car. You can see that under the floor, you have some carbon fiber tanks. It has to be carbon fiber on cars because uh, it is very safe. If there is a crash or something, there's no problem with pieces going everywhere. There is just a crack and then the air goes out. The tanks can even withstand the force of small caliber gunfire. Since it's being powered by air, the cat has a lightweight aluminum frame to keep it lean and nimble. The same care went into the body. The body of the car will be made uh, with fiberglass. Using fiberglass is very important for us because the car will be lighter, and having a light car, you will have more range. In our technology, we won't store a lot of energy, so we have to manage this energy to have a bigger, bigger range. MDI has licensed the technology to Tata Motors, India's largest car manufacturer. And Mexico City is looking at the cat as a way to cut into its layer of smog. Once the cat leaves the factory, it will need some air. And MDI will need to convince gas stations to play along by installing industrial compressors and air tanks. This is a compressor, and you can use this to fill some high-pressure tanks a huge volume, and then when a car arrives at the air station, you just have to transfer the air from these big tanks to the car, and that takes just three minutes. But airing up can also be done at home. Plug in a compressor that comes with a car, and in three to four hours, the tank is full. It's now ready to go 125 miles for just two bucks. If the air is generated with a renewable source, the car becomes a true green machine. This is the motor alternator to fill the car when you plug the car on an electric plug to, to fill the tanks. Put it all together, and the city version, or Minicat, will hit a top speed of 70 miles per hour. If you want a Tiger in your tank, MDI has developed a gasoline dual energy version. When the air is depleted, Gasoline drives the engine while an onboard compressor refills the air tank. Alternating between the two fuels, the hybrid will hiss along for an amazing 600 miles on one small tank of gasoline. The first car targeted for early production is the Mini Cat. If you think it looks strange from the outside, take a closer look at the steering wheel. This is why we've put the driver in the middle. Having the driver in the middle, you can put it a little bit more in the front of the car so you have more volume for the trunk. This is the basic idea. But then also for us, it's more simple to use this car in uh, England and France, for example. There's no problem because the driver is in the middle. Right side steering, left side steering, it doesn't matter. 
Yi Negra has made a car for everyone. Costs for the cats will range from $7,000 for a four-cylinder minicat to $25,000 for a six-cylinder family car. Negra's determination to be eco-responsible extends to manufacturing as well. We are going to expand the industrial concept we came up with, which is to make cars in small factories located within the market. It is an original concept. It's very important for the economy, for social issues, pollution issues, and the environment. The compressed air car works. Now all Guy Negra needs is the support of the public and the automobile industry. Breakthroughs are always difficult, especially technological breakthroughs, because the industry generally follows the direction that has already been established, and they don't like to see someone trying to change the course. But today, there is a worldwide need to change the course. There's a worldwide need for pure water as well. 